Hello, and welcome to this Trust in Computing courses that is part of a current topics of human computer interaction series. Trust, trustworthiness, ethics, and uh, privacy and security are terms that are very much associated with trust, but the trust topic and concept per se is not well addressed in the, in our current uh, topics of human computer interaction i can find few people that understand what it means to be trustworthy what it means wh what is the ethics contributed to be trustworthy what is, is the relationship between reputation and trust and privacy and trust and security and trust there is an oversupply of terms, and this has been emerging in, in, in currently based on the new European regulations for trustworthy AI. But these terms of trustworthy AI, trustworthy term, is not clear, and what it means and what we want to address in the first part of the course. We want to provide an overview of the course and what it is. The, course main goal and there are two three main goals in the course first for you to understand the concepts and how it is framing the current context of human computer interaction then the second part is to understand the state of the research right now and uh, what are the different approaches to towards this process and the final first uh, part is to understand how you can apply this idea of trust in computing in from a user or a human computer interaction perspective. We will provide a set of tools that will help you to reflect how users trust and how you can design more human-centered computing trustworthy tools. We will help you to understand what exactly it means trust and how important this trust for decision making, for adoption, and understand how trust in, is addressed in computing, the difference between trustworthy, trustworthiness, and trust, and why this trust also affects your interactions, artifacts. Why trust? I just addressed this, but mainly because. Today, we are suffering some, a set of threats, let's just say, a misguided use of data. And we feel that our trust in, uh, in today's uh, technology has changed. We change from being over uh, trusting technology towards being skeptical and question some malpractice use of trust uh, of technologies and this leads us to question how much we can we can rely on these tools to have an ethical purpose to reach our goals in a way that will not be more harmful uh, being more helpful trust is more about the person the qualities of the tool than so much about the tool per se trust is a key element in human, any human relationship. So trust is something that has been searched for, for a long time. It's, it's not something new. What is new is the, re the relationship of trust in technology. But no common understanding, a common no notion of trust is yet rich. So there are different perspectives and notions of trust in the literature. And we can see trust in different ways. We can see a uh, trust as a contribute to, to uh, towards system adoption. We can see trust as a contribute for more cooperative relationships to smooth the relationship, for example, using reputation mechanisms to increase the trust in a stranger. We can also use trust as a security mechanism, make sure that um, people or your data is safe and you are not facing a threat or a mal malpractice or mal, mal use of your data. Trust is what makes you to have an action, be willing to do an act in certain 
um, context. Trust is associated with engaging because you, with trust, you assume that the risk is lower and the gain is higher. Trust is also associated with positive and meaningful experience with that person or with that object. And of course, ultimately, trust enables you to adopt and use a product. Trust in computing is not a technical perspective, but needs to be examined from a social technical perspective. So you can look at how people feel and how trustworthy is the product. But you also need to enable and see the qualities of your product that leaves you to feel that it is trustworthy. On the other way around, if you see a product being ethical and apply all the privacy regulations and letting you know that your data is personal, then it's more likely that you trust the product and that the company or IT provider to be trustworthy. But again, it's your vision, your perspective on how secure, how private is this product or the system. So trust is a key element on any relationship. It can be a relationship between two persons. It can be a relationship between one person and one object. It might be an AI system, but it's always a relationship. It is a relationship that is made uh, or is achieved through a trustor and a trustee. A third party, although, might influence this relationship. For example, an e-commerce website. It's a relationship between you and e-commerce provider. But a third party rating system might help you to assess the credibility or the reliability of or this e-commerce uh, provider to be reliable and credible. Trust is something that needs to be applied in the settings of context, a social context. It depends on how reliable is this product and how I perceive this e-commerce provider is more trustworthy than others. Uh, so trust is something that is influenced by the context and by your willingness to take risks or not. So trust, depending how do you assess the qualities and the, the different competence, risk, and honesty of your product or of your or IT provider of your product. So trust is something that comes from interpersonal relations and social situation. For example, Facebook faced a couple of scandals on misdata use, and due to these data scandals and issues, people started to question their um, their ethics and the way they use users' data. And this might influence your predisposition to engage and share things in Facebook or use it. And might influence in the way you act in social media and behave by the way you perceive and the past experience that you had by using social media. So many things affect trust. In computing is the same thing. So there are many factors that might influence the way you trust technology setting, the way this technology functions, it compenses the risk of using it and you don't achieve your goal or gain, for example, buying in the local uh, e-commerce website and in the end you didn't got your product and you, lo you lost your money. It affects also, the way you make uh, decisions to take risk or not to take risk and adopt the artifact to use it. Third party might also be an influence. So trust resol results from a process, a decision that takes into account the risk of trust trusting someone or something. Trust also exists in a situation, in a context, within an organization settings. and. It represents a community 
norms on how to behave and how you expect they behave, a set of regulations, for example, and how the tool can communicate to you that the tool is reliable, competent enough, and the provider follows all the regulations and ethical principles in design and data use. So many, many uh, terms that are associated with trust, but the main ones is that trust is the process of believing based when you have a setting that is uncertain. And this is associated with a risk, this uncertainty, or following a set of decision-making process that in the end is going to fail and arm you in the future. For example, in health, trust is very important. If we use an AI tool to assess the probability of me getting Alzheimer's disease, and if this tool let me know that I have high probabilities, uh, and in the uh, and in the future I realize that the tool was wrong, then how this might affect my life and the way I make my decisions, my happiness, everything is affected. This affects the way you you um, you act in society and it influences your life. Trust results from a process that takes into account how do you perceive the trustworthiness of someone, how do you assess rationally, emotionally, and irrationally the expectations or the willingness to get the results that you want, and this influences the way you cooperate. And this is changes, increases, and diminish in a time frame. So you might be more predisposed to trust in the beginning, but if in the end, after using the tool, you realize that your expectations are not met, then you might be less predisposed to trust and use this tool in the future. Therefore, trust predisposition lies on how I see and perceive the uncertainty, the risk relies on how I believe that the tool, the trustee, IT provider, will help me to achieve my actions or my needs. And also is based on how committed I am to the process. Do I want to do this? Do I need to do this? Am I forced to do this? Trust depends much on need to be able to determine if the risks are lower than the gains. If this happens, then I will be more willing to trust and use and engage. If that doesn't happen, then I will be less willing to trust and use and engage. So how do I assess this trustworthy AI situation? by observing, and each person has different um, different risk propensity. So I, I might be a risk-taking person, so I'd be more willing to take risks than someone else. And this needs to be taken into, con into consideration when we assess a situation or a tool, an AI, to be trustworthy or not. So what are these signs? These signs are attributes, and they are mainly tricking key signs. And um, risk, how do I perceive the risk of the context, the situation that I am in, the competency of the tool to lead me to achieve my goal or help me to achieve the, the goal, and how benevolent, honest, ethic are the object, the IT provider, to enable me to know that he will deceive me into achieving my goals and in the end will enable me to lose and increase my risk of not getting the desired need or goal. These trust warranty signs or attributes are understood 
and in the different ways, in different qualities. So they are underlined with, within the content, underlined within the social structure, regulation principles, GDPR, privacy settings, um, security, or, or uh, for example, uh, return policies. These are also related with the behavior of the people that surrounds you and uses too. So reputation, credibility in the system. Reliability is one key issue to understand. You have higher risks of you using this tool and not achieve the desired goals. Your reactions to the tool depends on how you perceive if the gains are higher than the losses and if the risks are higher than the gains. So if the risk will lead you to have behaviors, undesired behaviors, or if the risk is for you to vote in a party, then you should not do it. Or if the risk is towards your health, your practice, and your happiness, you might question your trust and use. This can affect you personally or can affect indirectly the whole society. Users' abilities to read this are an important aspect. As well, your ability to understand how they perceive the product to be trustworthy is also an important aspect for your design. If you design a product that is technical, uh, secure, that is technically private, and it's content, this doesn't mean that I perceive it to be trustworthy. And these perceptions of being a product trustworthy affects my adoption settings as well. So the idea is to design products or to design trustworthy designs that avoid you to reach your users to reach to the phase that they distrust. Because it takes years to build trust, but seconds to break it. And once you start this fast, uh, not trusting the product, it means that gaining the trust again is much, much harder. And the product usually um, is not accepted and not used. Take the example of uh, the information patterns, take the example of Facebook, the Boeing uh, uh, examples where they, they, they create defective mechanisms and then in the end people died and people start to question um, Volkswagen. So when they start to question the trust that they put in the object, this is where it is the dangerous moment because gaining trust again is very hard. That's it. The next time we will talk about the research and, and what we, we have been done and why it's important to address this. I hope that you enjoyed this brief introduction and, uh, and I hope to see you soon in our uh, synchronous session. Bye-bye.